Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, Pop-up channel with Mr. Duncan Birmingham uh, is back with uh, on on YouTube, and they do have few new tutorials. If you like pop-up pop-up thingies, pop-up mechanisms, this channel is amazing. Uh, you can learn there from the start those most easy pop-up mechanisms to really. Uh, amazingly complicated but yet with uh, Mr. Duncan's explanation very easy to follow uh, mechanisms so go to have a look he's back with few new tutorials this is inspired by tutorial number 85 I believe it's called KISS and it's moving uh, two uh, two images together so uh, inspired by this tutorial I have created um, digital images for Christmas card as you can see both of my papers are also back printed with this design so I'm gonna fussy cut out all pieces this will be base of my card this will be kind of like on the front of my card the back will be this way and these two will be moving towards together to each other so I'm gonna fussy cut out all images and I will show you how you can put together this awesome card. We do have all images fussy cut out, so I'm gonna start with this largest one. I'm just gonna fold it on half. Like this. So this will be my base for the card. Uh, I'm gonna also use ink for distressing the edges. I'm gonna be using this rustic brown uh, spectrum noir ink for distressing the edges on the card and maybe i will add a little bit just small shade on the edges around the images not too much i don't want to make it too dark just really just very uh, softy touch just to seal the white edges on that card <clears throat> as you can see here it does have white edges, so I just want to put those edges uh, to the darker color. I do have distressed every single piece. I think I'm going to start with this. So I did fold it on half. I have cut the edges slightly uh, smaller than uh, its print itself, just to make it the way that I will see small frame, that green frame all around so really just small bits and pieces all around i cut it from this uh, picture and i'm gonna glue it here if you like sewing effect you can first do some beautiful sewing effect around the edges and then glue it here you can also make this as a pocket and maybe add there uh, some special message and i'm gonna glue it on all all the way on my base and if you like to create pop-ups please go to have a look on pop-up channel really those tutorials are amazing you will learn everything from the base to really advanced uh, advanced tutorials for any kind of pop-ups really that channel is amazing and these new tutorials they are awesome now I do have here these strips, so first I'm going to start with these two, they will click together like this, oh actually like this, both of these short ones will be on the bottom, but before I will click them and glue them, uh, I need to fold the strips where there are the lines, so you will see there those dot lines here, here, and also here so just fold your cards in these spots and if you want to create your card from the scratch go to have a look um, i will link that tutorial down below which did inspire me to create these digitals 
it was kind of like obviously, you know, <laughs> with that name Kiss, <laughs> it was obvious what I'm going to create. <laughs> so, thank you, Mr. Duncan. Your tutorials are awesome. I do have folded all pieces. Now I'm going to click these two together. And I need to remember these short uh, edges. They are on the bottom. They will be folded like this. And here between will be this fold, this one. So I need to place it that way. And I think... I'm going to place it somewhere here to have moving uh, part somewhere in the chest of the these two. So I do have to link these two strips together. I'm going to put the glue on the folds. And here I'm going to place it. right around the middle fold on my card and I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna make sure that it's straight here here and this line that it's straight with that middle fold before I will glue these edges down uh, I'm gonna take these two pieces it's like a little T and I'm going to follow the folds here and here. This will go around these strips. It, it will move the image. So I can glue these straight away. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. And a little bit of glue here and fold it together. Gonna do the same here. And again here and here. Now uh, I'm going to fold this one up same here up. and I'm going to slide these little belly bands around my paper strips, one here and other one on that opposite side, one here, Oop. this way, okay. So now I can glue these long strips. Uh, when the card will be open, these strips will lay flat like this. So on the last part of these strips, I'm going to add the glue, fold it, and lay it flat like this. Same I'm going to do on that opposite side. Put the glue on that last part. Fold it down and lay it flat like this. And I'm going to let this dry before I will start to move it anywhere. Now, when I will want to close my card, I have to have here these beautiful pop-ups like this and i'm gonna close my card and open now i can take these two little pieces and there is also line right here so i'm gonna fold it in there
same on that other one. And I'm going to glue these two strips. One will be here. And other one will be here. So I can put the glue on this last piece. And I'm going to glue my card in there. And the other one will be here, so I can put the glue. And place my, my card in there. You can leave it flat. And you can place it just like this. Or you can lift it up a little bit and make sure that you are matching the, the card here. And place it together. Then lay it flat and press. And again, I'm going to press it all together. Now I do have here my flaps. So I'm going to grab the images. And I will try to place my images as close uh, to that middle fold as possible. Here. Uh, maybe she will be a little bit down, so she will probably lay like this. Yeah, this way. I'm gonna glue my images down. So, first guy, I guess. And I'm gonna place him right here. With his nose on the fold. And here is visible a little bit of that fold. I'm going to cut it off with my scissors once it's all dry. Now I'm going to get up the lady and make some nice position for her. I think somewhere here. Even here, uh, when it's open, it can cross the image uh, to each other because it's moving there uh, when it's closed uh, the images will be far from each other so here they can they can actually go across to each other so i think this way and i'm gonna get up the lady place her here And again, I do have visible parts here and here a little bit. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to grab my very small scissors, these ones. And I'm going to lift it up a little bit here and cut the greenery off. Like this, and I'm gonna wet my scissors, cut off the green from here. And And because I had to slide her slightly down, I'm going to cut off this one. I 
I think this way. Yep. That's probably a good one. And now we can try, right? So, uh, same like many times before, first movement, go to help to your images to do the thing. So I'm going to lift it up here and close my card and I'm going to open it. And I'm going to open it. So this is... <laughs> This is kissing boot. <laughs> this is my mistletoe kiss card, which you can download from my Etsy. Uh, it's totally inspired by tutorial by uh, Duncan Birmingham from Pop Up Channel. I will link that channel down below. Go to have a look. So this is my sharing for today, my new digital design on my Etsy. I hope uh, you enjoy it. You can create this card with your own uh, photos, your own images. Just go to follow Mr. Duncan because he's brilliant with explanation. Uh, that's all my sharing for today. Uh, my Patreons, they already have this design. I hope you will enjoy them. Thank you so, so much, Mr. Duncan, for your inspiration. And thank you all for visiting me today and spending your time with me. Uh, I wish you a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.